welcome back to my channel my name's katie i hope you are doing well today's video is going to be another ms scrap busters video and a couple of days ago i will link her video below a couple of days ago she did some twinchies so that is basically two inch by two inch squares and she was making them up into little embellishments i'll show you mine now Okay, so I figured because I'm going to be making a steampunk or train related um, album soon, I wanted to make up some, some of these to put throughout the journal. So I thought that's a, a great little way of adding a few little embellishments. So here's some of the ones that I've come up with. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a different take and do like a steampunk version. Move these up here and then you can see them. So a little bit of a steampunk version. So we are going to uh, do a few more of these. So to start off, I'm just going to take these out of the way and I'll leave some of these on the side. Just leave them on the side. I've got four, four pieces of card. I actually have another one here, five. So if we, if I feel like it i might do five i might not i don't know um but if you are in the uk i don't know if this pad was sold in the us i'm not 100 percent sure i think it was by oh, was it paper mania i think not 100 percent sure but everyone had this um had this pad so it had like all of these papers on i've got the 12 by 12 version but on the 6x6, six six, there was one page and it had all of these together. Um, and so this is where I've got the Twinchies from. And um, they're called twin Twinchies because they're two inch is. Not inches, they're Twinchies. So um, these are what I'm going to work with. I have got out my numbers, my... Um, little bits of scraps and things that I've altered and whatnot so actually I also want to get out some of the tickets that I did the other day so we'll take out these are the tickets that I did the other day so I've printed off some of the dice not dice domino printouts from the graphics fairy I have the premium membership so and I've just printed off some of these because I think they'll be perfect to use on this. That's a cool one, actually. Now then. I think that one will go, go quite well on there. Um, yeah, so I've printed out some of them. Actually, that'd be quite cool as well on there. And I'm going to colour in some of these dies now the dies that i've used on some of these are um, just bog standard steampunk style dies i got these from aliexpress and also the buttons because i have got to have buttons on that's the whole point i nearly missed that point out and um, the buttons i've used the martha stewart punch that creates buttons like like these ones here so i am going to put buttons on uh, they're just not real buttons they're pretend buttons because in the journal i want the, these to be as flat as possible so they can be used as tuck spots and things like that and they're not going to bulk out the journal too much so that's that and then to create the look of rusty rustiness as i have done I'm going to show you the pens I've used. I've used the Spectrum Noir pens and the numbers that I have used is BG5, GG2 and TN5. So if I hold those up there, they're the ones that I've used. So I'm going to show you how to create like the rusty sort of effect. And I'm going to use TN5 and BG5 for the time being. So I'm going to take the BG5 make sure i'm in shot because i have already filmed this once before and guess what i was way out of shot because i had my camera around the other way and i didn't realize 
um as in i was filming it but my hands were out of shot but anyway that doesn't matter that's a me problem not a you problem so i'm just going to color how many have we got four i'll just color all four of these in and i'm just using the chisel tipped edge now you could go a whole, whole lot further and put clear embossing onto these as well if you wanted to kind of make them a little bit more 3d but i don't want them 3d because i want them to be quite flat as i say to go into my journal use it as a tuck spot or something like that so i have actually made quite a few of these as i said in my previous video that i was out of shot i mean goodness me that's my stomach as well i hope you can't hear that so and the boys are all back now so the house is in chaos so if you hear people about then that's them right and then i'm going to take the tn5 and just dotting around creating some rust spots if you had a turquoise you could probably go in there with a little bit of a turquoise just to create a little bit of uh, patina and literally just using the pen just to create some rusting effects on the on the buttons now then don't worry if you try this and you're like oh no i don't i mean i would probably advise if you are going to do this try it on a scrap piece of paper first but these pens are really good because the obviously the alcohol within the pen helps blend all of that but if you don't want it to be as strong as that you can do it i'll show you oh oh that was great wasn't it they are refillable but i'm having really as i said i'm having trouble with my hands at the moment i need to wipe that off i'm, I'm just gonna have to use my hands right oh lord it's because the boys are back right so uh, just going to do this so don't worry if it's too strong you can always go back over it with your other color pen so i'm just going to leave that there like so right and then i'm going to go over with it just literally just to darken that down if you want to darken it down and you don't want it so prominent and then you'll see it just sort of breaks it all down but i actually quite like it and if then you decide oh no just go back over it and layer it it just i love it because it the alcohol sort of pushes the color out and creates that really nice rusty effect right we'll get rid of those for now <laughs> ah, right then so let's go for we've got our buttons oh i was going to do that as well so i'm just going to color that in as well oh lord right just take this one's the gg2 i'm just going to go with the lighter um lighter color gray for this one so i might and i'm literally just using the chisel end again i might even ink with these ones do a little bit of black ink or something as you can see we're just if you want to make it darker you can just keep going over and keep going over so I might just go around the back as well because I'm not sure how far. And it will just saturate the card anyway. But the card doesn't lose any of its integrity because this is a super smooth card that I've actually had left over from making programs from years ago. I did some, designed some programs for a WI yearly programs. Right, so that's that. And we can go in with the rust. See how bright that is with that colour. So we can just go back over that if you want. I'm just going to... Do that over. Just randomly, as rust would, randomly go everywhere. 
and then take my chisel end you see what I mean it just kind of makes it go a little bit paler as you're putting the alcohol over it so it just dampens that down a little bit but what I am going to do is take a little bit of black ink and just go around the edge on each of these just to give it that more industrial look and there you go you've got from a little piece of white card to something that's you know that looks quite cool so i'm just going to do that a little bit over the back you probably won't even see it but that's fine so we've got that now then i'm going to use that am i going to use that on there or am i going to use it on one of these one two three four i think i'll use it on this one so we've got that one on there so i'm going to use that on there and then we've got a button you can pop on if you could even put the button on there if you really wanted to well, i might do that put the button on there this one i wanted to use i think a hot air balloon and just i don't know i don't know if i like that we're going to use on there what are we going to use on you that's cool the hot air balloon actually yeah i like that pop that on there and then we could probably unless you want to use that on the back of there mm. oh i quite like that I probably don't want the button on there but that does defeat the object but it doesn't matter we can have one without so I'm going to put that aside there this one I'm going to put on here like that do I get a number or something It's quite a big number. I've got these smaller numbers. I might use one of these paper clip things again. Put that down there. Yep. I like that. So I'm just going to colour that in and I'll get that stuck. And then we've got one ready to go. Just move these bits out of the way. I'm just going to colour this in. will go dark yeah these were um i cut these out on my silhouette but it's that out of date now i don't ever use it anymore so i'm debating whether to get a new one or not bother because i've got quite a few dies and i use the dye machines just as much so i don't know if you've got like a silhouette or something let me know let me know what you think i'd love to know i just don't know would i use it enough if i did get a new one right so we've rusted that up a little bit right get my glue 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 this down I have to take my watch off because that's really annoying it's annoying to me so if it's annoying to me it's probably annoying to you yeah so the boys are back the washing machine's going at full pelt We've got one downstairs watching the TV so loud. We've got one upstairs. He's on the internet with doing his gaming and things like that. So I'm afraid the silence is no longer. Stick 
that on the top I like that I like that a lot am I going to colour that in probably yes um, I'll go with the lighter I think and then I can cut it down side there that I need to just cut off. Some of these numbers are from Artie Mays I think. So we're going to put the button on there. Could probably put the number over the button or onto the button. Let's rust it up a little bit. see that it just doesn't look fair bluish so I'll just go back over it with your pen it's a bit like using a, the clear blender pens with your uh, pro markers or whatever so I'm just going to keep that like that So, glue on there onto the button. I'll we'll put the button just on there. I I wanted to challenge myself because I was like, oh, buttons and steampunk, are they going to go? But I don't think they're too bad right now. Then I know there's not a button on here. Before everyone says, there's not a button on there, Katie. I know. And I think sometimes rules are there to be broken. And it's Monday. It's bank holiday Monday. And I'm going to break some rules. Yeah. Today, today will be known as rule breaking day. Just on there. It wasn't that busy at work today either. I work in a in a supermarket, and uh, it wasn't that busy. But it was starting to get busy when I left. I was like, "Yeah, bye, see ya." I mean, you could put a button on there and just have it off on the side. Oh, yeah, I might do that, actually. OK, then. So I'm not breaking any rules. There is going to be a button on there. Let's pop it on the side there. There we go. So that's two. We've got two more. Now then, can we use on here? Oh, that's a cool one. Now then, if I put that, that on there. Have a button. One of these tickets, tickets, tickets. Put a ticket behind there. These are the tickets that I made on my last last video. I like that. Um, I'm going to put on this one. What is that? It's like a that's apothecary, isn't it? Type stuff. I wonder if there's. See the head, perhaps I might use that one because that's apothecary, isn't it? Yeah, it's easy for me to say. 
I might. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go away. I'm going to cut out a little bottle, plastic bottle. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. That was a mammoth task. Right, so I'm, I've am i cut out one of the smallest bottles on the Tim Holtz Big Sty. It's 664408, if you're interested. Now, I got this idea from bohemian crafting and actually it's perfect i use acetate that is in uh, laser jet acetate i don't have a laser jet printer but i picked it up at a charity shop ages ago now uh you're not going to see this i'm just going to grab a piece of card hopefully oh where's my i say you're not going to see it nor am i now So I got this idea um, from Bohemian Crafting. She uh, cut up her um, Tim Holtz packaging, used the packaging for this. But these stamps as well that, I, um, that I'm using, I basically she influenced me and I had to go to AliExpress to buy them. They're all like in these, in these packs and then they come like this. I mean, so... If I can find the video, I will link it. But I'm going to use this particular stamp. And I'm using stays on because we're using a non-porous surface. So, and I'm not bothered if it stamps properly or not. And I'm just going to go over the bottle. And you'll see... There we go. I don't know if I flip that over now. You can see how that's stamped. Put my lid on and stays on. I do love the smell of stays on. Mm, it smells lovely. Right, so then I'm going to pop that onto here because obviously that's your apothecary bottle. Now, am I going to do it over that? Am I doing it over that or am I just going to go put a little button on top of there? Yeah, I don't know. Only because it was apothecary, I thought that would be quite cool. Uh, what if you do that with the letter and then have that? No, you can't really see it. But we're going to go with it. That's what we're going to go with. I'm going to get the tiniest bit of tape. I'm going to tape it down. Put that underneath and then use tape. Or am I going to... Do you know what? I'm going to staple it. Am I... I don't know if I'm even going to use that now. All of that effort, and I'm probably not going to use it. But it showed you. I just thought that that would look really cool. Actually, I am going to use it. I'm just going to go one. There's another left. Oh, it's all, it's all going peak tong for me today. That is not what we want. Come on, little staples. You can, you can do it. I can't get them in there. Because oh, my hand's not wanting to work today. There we go, right. 
one and two there we go so i have stapled those on and then i will glue that on just that bit the button put the button on underneath that so then at least the buttons in and on so there's another one so that's our three and I'm now on my fourth and then that's cool so I just really need to glue this one down perfect and then we're all good aren't we Hopefully this time I've stayed in shot because I've run out of twinchies <laughs> of that type anyway. <laughs> ah, so funny. Oh goodness me. Well at least can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. That's the TV downstairs, I swear. I think it's just because I haven't had anybody in the house over the weekend and it just, everything seems so noisy. <laughs> now that they're all back. And then that's going to go just on top. Oh, I overloaded that with glue a bit, didn't I? No, you get back there. Hopefully that will dry. So that is the twinchies that we've made today. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of glue on the end there with buttons for the M's busting so I will put them all out in a row in a second and show you all of the ones I've done and here they all are these are all of the ones that I have made some of them in the different video um <laughs> oh goodness me I am going to go and ink around the edges of these as well but I just didn't want you to uh, sit and I uh, put those two together but I love the um the what do they call it the rusting effect on there come on focus anyway so yeah I'm really pleased with how these have turned out and they are now going to go in my embellishment box ready for doing my steampunk come train style journal so I shall link the video below um to the uh, M's scrap busting busters if you want to join in it's absolutely amazing and it's a great way as i say just to give you that little bit of inspiration and to use up your your scraps and things like that so thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one have a great day bye